Hi there, and let's get to it. The Take Selector enables you to place multiple clips in the same position on the timeline so that you're able to alternate between different takes or between different angles of a clip to check how they fit in the narrative. Now, traditionally, what you would do is place your alternative take on a different video track and simply turn the track on and off while you preview how the clip looks. So I've got this sequence that I'm about to play back. Overall, I think it looks all right, but on the day that this was shot, there were two angles captured of Carrie falling through the window, and one of them was head-on, whereas the other one was at a 45-degree angle. I know as soon as I submit a segment like this, the director will immediately ask, well, what about the other angle that we shot? He will ask that regardless of which angle I pick for the edit. So I tend to always have the alternative ready for preview. I'm just going to scroll here and make sure I'm more or less on the same point in the action. And I'm just going to click I for in, O for out. And I'm going to turn off my audio tracks to make sure we're only bringing in the video. And I'm just going to pop it on top here. And this is how I'd work with it. I would turn it on and off while I preview how it looks. One of the disadvantages is that this action of her falling out is just a few frames longer, which means that I would have to grab my entire following edit and push it forward a little bit to make sure that I can see it correctly. So it's not really a fantastic way to do it, which is where take selectors come in. What I can do instead is I can place this additional clip right into this space. I'm going to right click and select take selector. This opens up a neat little interface and the only thing I have to do is treat it like its own little timeline. I'm going to click and drag this video into the Take Selector interface. We now have two clips occupying the same space. The orange triangle in the top left corner of the clip indicates which clip is active. So if I close my Take Selector by clicking on the X in the top left corner, I now close the Take Selector option. I've got an icon in the bottom left corner indicating that the Take Selector tool is being utilized for this clip. And I've still got this 45 degree angle take, but I can now double click on this icon, reveal the alternative take, and I can now click on the clip that I want. So it will be the darker blue one. When I close Take Selector, you'll now see the alternative angle has replaced that clip. Now I'm going to undo a couple of steps before this trim occurred and reveal the second angle clip with the full tail end. See how I can grab the clip and slip it in the middle of the take selector so I can change its in and out points. And I also have the option of rippling the take. So this icon here will change the duration of the timeline and nudge all the following clips aside to make room for the selected clip. So in this case, You'll see how the end has maneuvered itself and the audio has expanded to accommodate the new clip. And with it selected, I can simply close it down. And now I have the new duration on my timeline. And vice versa, I can select the shorter clip and you can see that the timeline adjusts itself based on which angle I'm selecting. I think for the most part, this is the more intelligent way to go about it. But if you're working on something in which there's an overall synchronization that you have to keep track of, like a music video, then this might be better turned off. Now you can have multiple clips inside your take selector. So I do have a slightly wider shot of the same attempt. And this is probably the one that's least likely to get used because you can see the crew reflected in the mirror. But Again, I can just make a selection in and out and drag that in as well. And now you can see we've got three videos. To delete a video, select it and click on the bin. And if you've selected a clip and you want to finalize it, so you know that for sure you're not going to refer back to the take selector, you can right click on it and choose finalize take. Thank you for watching and until next time.